the real estate market in Toronto is picking up, at least from the data given by the Toronto Real Estate Board. I'm talking about sales transaction, home prices, and new listings that are all going up in February. The most recent rate hold announced by the Bank of Canada was not a surprise, but it was also an added sentiment for the buyers that were sitting on the sideline. But the point that I want to share in this video is that most people in the general public think that they can time the market better than anybody else. Are you part of this? Let's dive into it right after this. Hey, welcome back to another video on the AV Team Real Estate channel. I'm Antonio and I am a local real estate agent in the GTA. If you have been enjoying the weekly video from this channel, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel so that it can be shared with more people who want to get updated on the real estate market in Toronto. Greatly appreciate it. If you have any inquiries about the real estate market, don't hesitate to contact me via the first link in the description down below. Let's start with the monthly report from the Toronto Real Estate Board. It comes as no surprise price the sales were up if we compare February from year over year. The official February sales are 5,607 and last year February was 4,754 and that is up 17.9% which was a big jump. But compare year over year is not a real good representation of the current market. Instead we should probably see the momentum carry over from the month before. The prior month in January was about 4,223 sales and we went about 20 24% higher in February. Definitely in terms of sales, the trend is upward. How about home prices? Indeed, the prices are slightly increased but it's not significant. It was reported at 1,108,720 and last year in February of 2023, it was 1,096,157. This is only a 1.1% up, which is practically flat. It is also in line with what I said in my previous video that I think the prices will remain flat or even slightly down depending on the local market market. If we compare the home prices from a month prior in January, which were 1,026,703, they are up 7.99%, which is why we can see the prices trending up recently. But that is mostly driven by freehold properties. In terms of new listings in February, it was 11,396 versus 8,537 in February of 2023. That is a huge improvement of 33.5%. Active listings were also up from 9,643 to 11,102 in February this year over the last year, which is up 15.1%. So we have more new and active listings with more sales transaction, which is further confirmed the market is improving. Before we get ahead of ourselves, let's backtrack what happened to the analysts and professionals who get paid to predict the real estate market. They are supposed to be the experts, but they still get mostly wrong. If they got it right, nobody would have been impacted by the stock market crash and the pandemic wouldn't have had that much effect or made wrong predictions about the interest rate and inflation. If the experts can't get it right, I I make bad prediction as well. I'm no exception and I'm guilty of that. But time and time again, when I speak to people who are looking to sell, they seem to be so confident in how the market will go. In fact, they are so confident not only to predict the next months, but they are so determined that years will come. And to a certain extent, they think they have better insight than the people who make the decision from the Bank of Canada. This might sound sarcastic, but I speak to many people on and off as an active realtor in the market and I'm not kidding that they are very strong in their opinion. I understand they have multiple investments and also made a lot of money through it but my question is how could the people who get paid for predicting the market and get wrong and how are they so certain that they would get it right? More often than not, when I ask why they are so certain, their answer will simply say, I just know. And that is my most heard answer. Anyway, what I'm saying is that the market is so volatile. It is based on what the numbers give us monthly. And that is the reason nobody could have 100% predicted the results. What I'm certain of is, is that nobody can tell. If not, that is basically gambling. There is a reason why we have the most foreclosures in the market where sellers struggle to close through this high interest environment. At the end of the day, the best way to maneuver this situation is by knowing what your household income could allow. You shouldn't be betting solely on your feelings. Instead, trust what you are comfortable with. 
Speaking to a mortgage broker who can understand your situation regarding how much mortgage you can get, and sadly to say, that is the best way to assess if this is the right time or not. Before you turn down this idea, a mortgage broker doesn't mean you are paying them commission right away. In fact, their job is to provide you with information and options for your unique situation. They simply don't make any commission until you secure your mortgage. So both interests must qualify according to the situation. And that is a common fear when I speak to first-time home buyers about hiring or consulting a mortgage broker. It really has no harm for you. Yes, you could simply walk to any bank and speak to the mortgage advisor. However, don't forget they are the employees of the specific bank you walk into. A mortgage broker, in the other hand, that is not tied to one bank. They can access multiple sources to get you the best rate that are available. I hope this little advice could help you or if you want me to recommend some great mortgage brokers, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. So yes, the market is picking up now, heading into the spring, but it is also seasonal and this should be normal. I think the market should improve with more listing and sales heading in. But like I said before, I still think the prices will remain flat throughout the year with the interest rate still relatively high. My advice will also remain the same, don't time the market, thinking that you are smarter than anyone, including all the experts in the industry. But trust what your situation allows based on your income. If you are the seller in the current market and think that you can wait until the market gets better, then you can sell it for more, but you are also risking it while the current market is doing well, especially in the freehold market. Timing the market is still a risk, just like gambling, but having a clear goal for what you want to accomplish is the key. If you are the buyer in this current market, new listings are making better choices for you. And the price is somewhat negotiable, especially in the condo market. Yes, there are certain local markets that are starting to have multiple offers, but the prices are somewhat flat. But the prices will only start to trend up, especially when the Bank of Canada decided to cut rates. This is a short overview and update of the real estate market in Toronto. And don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy weekly content from this channel. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.